Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we have a whole series on vintage van builds somewhere up here. We are done the painting and wallpaper finally, and today is the time when we can finally put the windows in and feel like the van is somewhat move-in ready. If you watched our other videos, you know that we had some major leaking problems with the van. I don't wanna have to do this twice, that's for sure. This whole window has come Turns off. Turns out that was holding it in place. And so that's why we had to end up taking the windows out to begin with. When we saw that the caulking wasn't working with the windows, I, my first reaction was like, okay, you know what, we can't do this. Like, we need to bring this to a shop. So I called a shop and they said that they don't work on any vans earlier than 1995. So a bit of a red flag for us. But when I said I really need to get these windows sealed, she said, okay, well, that's totally something that you can do. There's lots of tutorials on YouTube. All you need is some butyl tape. Make sure you clean it really well. And so that's what we're gonna be doing. And so I got my dad here helping me today and let's uh, see how this goes. <laughs> I feel like this is something I'm not supposed to be doing. <laughs> oh wow, that happened so this easy. No wonder they just popped off and were leaking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Oh, some parts are still sticky, but yeah, you can tell it's definitely not, was not attached all the way on there. No. What do we have? Some butyl tape. Yeah, it was butyl tape, wasn't it? Well. Pretty old though. Just clean it and then do it all over again. Yeah, let's do it. Well, this feels weird having oh, a big hole in here. so crazy on this side too. <laughs> I need to make sure that these windows are super clean so that we can get the sealant on properly. So I'm gonna be out here for a few hours just <laughs> cleaning off the old stuff. going back here this is the most frustrating thing i've had to do on the van you have been doing this for hours pretty much the entire day i've been working on three windows because the people who did this last basically just put all this glue in there and it is terrible <laughs> Look at your hands. Stuff, so don't touch me that's gonna get oh, all over you oh i'm sucks. sorry this is so frustrating oh my goodness are you getting close uh, probably another 45 minutes on this window. I just have to pick it out of every crack with a Crazy. nail. Crazy. I'm using this little nail to go through every little crack because it has to be really clean for the next stuff to go on. Oh, so, that's so frustrating. Well, that's why there was leaks though, is because other people just put stuff over top of it. So yeah. clearly. Well, hopefully if we do it right, we'll never have to do it right. again. The front windows are a little bit of a different style than the side windows. The side windows all have like this trim that we took off, but the front windows are just almost like a contained thing that you would almost have to, if you wanted to replace like the seals and stuff, you would have to just redo the whole window, which is a little bit too complicated. And there's just like a few holes in it. So I think what we're gonna do, or what Sarah has done actually, has put in a bunch of glue in the holes that were just leaking. And so we just have to kind of test that to see what kind of seal that's made. And so <laughs> let's go check it out. All right, ready? Ready for you, Sarah. You're looking right, good. So far, no water. I mean, it looks pretty good on this side. It's running right off of there. Yeah, I don't feel any water coming through. That's oh, huge. Sorry. Wow, that's actually pretty crazy. Cause this was leaking a lot before. Nothing? I don't have anything in here. Woo! Hey, let's try the other one. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so same deal right here. That is awesome. Woo! Woo! If you're planning on doing something like this yourself, the biggest thing we learned is that everything needs to be very clean. Otherwise the ceiling won't work. 
we're using paint thinner to clean it up, but most people suggest using mineral spirits, which is a little lighter and not as hard on your window pane. After the cleaner is dried, we put on the butyl tape, something that's readily available at any RV shop. Because our windows aren't exactly form-fitting to our van, we found that putting two layers of butyl tape worked best. Clean your window inserts one more time, and it's time to put the windows back in. So I can help you guide it, maybe. Yeah, just pop it in there, just to see. Yeah, it looks pretty smooth. Yeah, it looks pretty lined up. Can I just like bring it up a little bit? What's that? Like I want it, I want it to kind of sit, yeah, like hold it up like that. Okay, just give me one second. Oh, that looks so slick. Yeah, doesn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted by how nice it looks. Just push it right in. Yeah, nice. Very nice. How's this one going? Uh, it's going. <laughs> As they all seem to be. Okay. It's looking good though. This one looks awesome. Okay. Don't That's tell it. me. How fun was that? That, you know what? I feel like when it goes well, it goes well, but when it doesn't, it's like, holy. Yeah, I feel like these windows have been the hardest so part of this build. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just kind of like the fact that it's so important, but at the same time, like it's broken. Like the, <laughs> the whole thing is broken. Like all these screws are somewhat stripped. Obviously we need to get new screws, that's fine. But even like the holes that they're supposed to go into, like they're not in the right spot. Like the window hardly fits. <laughs> it's a bit of a task. Yeah, but it's done. It's done. And hopefully it's sealed. Next, yeah, next think, rain we'll figure it out. Yeah, I think we just have to let it sit for a couple days and then cut off the excess. Woo! To go. They look so nice I though. Know, so with the wallpaper and everything. Yeah. Ooh. Freshly spray painted yeah. the insides. Dang, looks good. Okay, so it's been a few days, and basically what we've done is we've let the butyl tape sort of excrete out of the windows, and they're actually looking really good. We've took it out of the rain a couple times, and it's been completely solid, completely sealed. And now all we have to do is put the silicone caulking back on. And what we learned from the first time is that the silicone caulking isn't actually what seals the windows. It actually just maintains the butyl tape, which is actually what is sealing the windows completely. So now that we have that on, we have to maintain that. So I gotta put on that caulking one more time. Well, it's been a few days since we put the caulking on the windows and honestly, it's been raining a ton and we are completely dry inside the van. So super pumped on that. I was really nervous uh, from the beginning <laughs> whether this was even gonna work at all. I really wanted someone else to do it, but turns out we can totally do this ourselves. And I think you can too. If you, if you wanted to do your own windows, it's completely possible. And so I'm sorry you didn't get to see Sarah as much in this video, but if you want to see Sarah's face more, you can watch more of our videos. And yeah, thanks yeah. for watching this video with only Eric's face. <laughs> Hope you liked it. Like it if you did. Subscribe so you can see more of us together next time. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>